Well, welcome back to the channel. So today we're out in the uh, coal forge and we're making a dinner bell. start off by bringing this bar to a point. to hit the anvil. Alright. And now I draw it out to a little bit longer taper. Try to keep the bar straight. Right. Now I'm going to flatten it out just a hair. And then I'll go over the horn a little bit and just uh, put just a little bit of a curve into that. And then while this side's cooling off, uh, I'll do the, the clanker. And then by the time I'm done with that, I'll be able to do the other side of this bar and then we'll shape it into the triangle. like that. That's only for aesthetics. There's nothing that will uh, change the function of the bell. Alright, same thing. I'm going to bring this to a point. Always trying new techniques. I haven't really tried this. This is kind of the style that a few blacksmiths do. 
if you're holding your hammer at an angle and doing sideways blows, I don't know. I think it's easier just to come at it. <laughs> So I'm not really looking to have this like perfectly round. That's why I didn't really take it to the 16 sides and 32 sides and, and all that. I want to I want to see the hammer marks in the end of this. Um, this is going to be the the end that actually strikes the bell here in this area. Uh, I think I might even bring this. The roundness up a little bit maybe to here halfway and then i want to do a twist somewhere in this bar and then the other side i'm going to do a loop Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to round this up.
For whatever reason, uh, the video I had uh, in making these uh, fullers before bending this and then also bending it, uh, for whatever reason, that video footage is gone. Uh, I can't find it on my phone. It didn't transfer to the computer. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you what I did uh, really quick. So I have this little bar here uh, that does fit into my hardy. And I just took that, and then that was the bar that I laid over the top of this, hammered it flat uh, on the back side, and it, it fullered down. And then I took, after that, my speed square, I drew a line across the anvil that way, then I took it to 60 degrees another line and it has the angle that I need for the triangle because all the sides of the triangle should be close to the same size and then I just ended up I ended up putting the bar down into my hardy to to get it the bend started and then I would lay it down and then I just come up holding it this way and I'd hit it with my hammer here if I needed to bend it a little more until it matched that angle of the uh, 60 degrees that I had drawn onto my anvil. Alright, so I do apologize for losing that footage, but hey, sometimes it happens. Alright, so I definitely uh, appreciate you guys for sticking around for the end of the video. If you wouldn't mind, give us a thumbs up, share us out to your friends, hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Alright y'all, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.